borderline, this video could just be a story time about I moved into a condo that was owned by a very famous reality star. Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. LOL, I said good morning, but actually as I'm filming this, it is 2.17 and I've officially been procrastinating making this video since I woke up, which was several hours ago, so much so that I even like took the time to put on makeup, put on an eyebrow, and do my hair, which is when you know it's like really dark. Truthfully, I've been procrastinating making this video probably for a year and a half. The only way this kitchen is actually going to get organized and be a place that I'm not embarrassed of is if I commit to making this video. So here we are. I have ripped the band-aid. It is happening. The first step is just to show you guys what is going on behind closed doors in this kitchen because it's just so overwhelming to me. Our house looks really tidy when I show it to you guys and I'm actually a very clean person, but it's what's going on behind closed doors that is really really problematic, so here it is. So let's just start with one of the few cabinets that we have in our kitchen, which is super small. I mean, what is even going on in here? What is back here? I can't even tell. What are these little nuts and dingleberries? I actually have no idea, but it's like a combination of medicine right next to black pepper. For some reason, I feel like that is probably not a good idea. Oh look, some stuff Taco Bell gave me a really long time ago, Mexican everything spice. Didn't even know that was there because I cannot even reach back there. And then forget about this, it's like close Logged. This is spices, oh wait, some more vitamins. And then up here, things just get even more bleak because very obviously, if I pull any of this out, it's just gonna fall on top of me. And then all the way on the top is just a massive tea collection. Very into tea right now, and it'd be really great if I could actually reach it, but guess where it is? And that is not all. If we swing right down here next to the stove, we have this train wreck. What is even going on here? This is actually dangerous. I could probably grate off my finger. And LOL, until this very moment, Moment. Did not even know that we had this. So this is just a mess. Let's come over here right next to the dishwasher. This is where, <laughs> I mean, you guys, this is such a mess. Everything inside is clean, but like, what is this? Again, something else I didn't even realize I had. I think this is like an avocado cutter. Kind of cool. What are these? This is super effing cute. Didn't know I had this. Also, TikTok, which is like the capital of all things organization, keep serving me up this organizer for spoons and forks and knives and all of your silverware. So of course I went ahead and bought it because who is not influenced by TikTok these days? But there's one more little area in my kitchen that I wanna organize and that is this. Right above my coffee maker, this is a large cabinet space. <laughs> like where did I steal these from? The eighth grade bathroom? What the heck? Look at all of this empty space up here that's not being used. And I wanna kinda see if I can create a little dedicated space for my coffee and tea because the coffee filters are just like thrown right over here next to my Ricolas and all of these tiny little bowls. Anyways, this is a mess. It's time to get started. Based on what I've seen, the first thing I'm supposed to do when organizing the kitchen is take everything out, which gives me so much freaking anxiety. I cannot even begin to tell you. So instead of doing that, I'm just gonna clean up first and hopefully get myself pepped up to actually be able to do it. started with the organizational part of this process and I know for a fact that it's about to get so 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 much worse before it gets better and I say that because I have watched every episode of the home edit I have watched every episode of Marie Kondo what I've seen them do is they always take everything out they go through stuff they get rid of stuff they hug items they see if they love them that's what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna take everything out and then I'm going to get to organizing if you guys are new here and you like these kind of videos I've actually done a handful of them so please subscribe click the links in the info section if you want to see more home organizing content and don't forget to hit that little bell so that you get the notification so I got these two like plastic trays that I have that are basically already falling apart I'm gonna take everything out and put them on these trays and as I go I guarantee you I'm gonna find like an artifact from ancient Greece or something in here I truly have never even looked at this cabinet I don't know what's in here and I've lived here for three years so yeah let's get started Dude, this is so cool. Have you guys ever seen one of these? This is like your own at-home Pam. You just put your own oil. You can use like any kind you want and then you just spray it. Look, forgot I had this. Vitamins, ooh, my juice. You guys know I love this stuff. I live on Coffee Mate Sugar Free Creamer. The ancient Greek artifacts I spoke of. Mm, 
smells like Christmas or Halloween. Why do I have this? Can someone tell me? Oh look! Taco Bell Friendsgiving! Mexican everything spice and spice sugar. This stuff's pretty old, so I'm gonna get rid of it, but I'm definitely gonna hold on to these containers, use them again, because these are really nice. Oh damn, you guys know I love Trader Joe's. I have not even tried this. This is everything but the elote. Not meant to be eaten like that, but pretty tasty. Oh, this is cute. Look at this little timer. Time's up, time to clean this kitchen. Power dust, what the heck is this? Oh my gosh, you know what I was just thinking? Maybe some of this stuff was actually left behind from the person who lived here before I did. Have I ever told you guys that Omarosa, who was on The Apprentice and who went on to work in the Trump White House, was the person who lived here? before I did in this place. Her and her mom both lived here. As I have heard from all of the people who live in my complex, I've heard so many fascinating stories about them and how like I guess the FBI came and like raided the place, I don't know. Honestly, I'm a little bit scared because I know she recorded Donald Trump in the White House, so she probably has some sort of recording device inside of our house right now. But um, I still get some of her mail. I never open it because that's a federal offense. But um, yeah, Omarosa lived here. And as soon as I moved in, I tore everything out and totally started over because just like wanted some new vibes in the house, if you know what I mean. Interesting, a jar of rocks. This feels like something my mom probably gave me. Why it's inside of my spice cabinet? Don't have the answer. Your spice cabinet's not full of tiny rock jars. Weird. Oh my gosh, these! Jill at Jill from Clever. Her mom gave these to me when I moved into this place because she is just the sweetest woman ever. She knew I liked tiny things. And these are the tiniest salt and pepper shakers of all time. I'm never getting rid of these. These are going with me to the grave. They're so cute. Finally finished unloading everything from this cabinet and it looks really great until you come down here and you're like, what is even going on over here? How old are these chips? Didn't know this little guy was even up there. But I also found this massive canister. I think this is flour. Don't know the last time I ever used this. Pretty sure it's expired. Flour expires, right? So here's my game plan. First and foremost, I'm gonna organize it so that the stuff I don't need to access often is on top. And then I'm going to go all the way down here to the bottom with the things I need to access most often. And then, in a twist, I'm actually going to attempt to turn this drawer into a spice cabinet so that all of this stuff, when it's pared down, is way easier to access. And then hopefully this area will be like freed up a ton. Also, this drawer is empty and it is beyond disgusting. I'm pretty sure that is a pumpkin seed. Just gross. Honestly, almost as gross as it was when I moved into this place, which I feel like, I feel like borderline this video could just be a story time about like, I moved into a condo that was owned by a very famous reality star. Honestly, when I was trying to buy this place, the only reason or one of the main reasons that I was able to get this condo just because it's so competitive in LA to buy anything, even if you have the money, it's like you have to compete in any way you can. Anyway, the agent who was selling this house, I guess Googled me when I made an offer and he found out that I was on The Amazing Race. And as it turns out, that is his favorite TV show. So I was like, because I was on Amazing Race, if you guys don't know that. So I was like, oh my gosh, let's talk about it. What's your favorite song? season, who's your favorite person on the show, blah, blah, blah. And then he goes, well, you know who lived here previously? And I was like, no, obviously I don't. And he was like, Omarosa from The Apprentice, from Donald Trump's White House. And I was like, excuse me? Omarosa lived in this place? She was also not the person who was selling it. She was a renter. Actually, I guess her mom was the renter, not her, but she lived with her mom or something like that. And it's been super interesting over the years because some of the people that lived here were like, they just like moved out in the middle of the night one night. Obviously, all of this, you guys, is just information I'm getting from the people who live here. I don't know if it's actually true or not. I also probably should stop talking about them. If you have ever seen what this place looked like the day I moved in, you know that it looks literally completely different, especially the kitchen. The layout's completely different. And when I moved in here, it had been vacant for a super long time, which is probably why it was so dilapidated when I bought this place. But I really had no option. It wasn't like come in and fix a few things. Even my mom, who will glue things back together until the end of all time, was like, Jaws, you just have to take everything out and totally start over. And I really love it. But obviously, I've let it get away from me. 
I bought this really cool rack that goes inside here when I'm done cleaning. I'm then going to potentially make the catastrophic mistake of putting all of my spices into new jars with labels because you guys are in my late 30s now and that's the kind of stuff that brings me joy. What about you? I bought a ton of these tiny jars that have lids and this is supposedly how they're all gonna fit right inside here and then I got little labels to go on top but I've already made a huge mistake not shocking at all because how do I get that stuff in here I don't have a funnel so I guess I have to make one one done 7,000 to go but before I move on since I'm kind of just moving everything around right now I am gonna go ahead and empty this out because I may want to relocate some of my cooking utensils over here. I'm not really sure yet. Can you tell I have no idea what I'm doing? This is only gonna get a lot worse before it's ever gonna get better, but I found something so weird in this drawer. Do you see this thing? This is actually a reusable fork spoon knife combo that must be like the most awesome sustainable thing I have ever seen in my entire life. Didn't know I had it until one minute ago. I'm making really great progress. This is actually all that is left, but right now I have to run out and grab a few more items, and I think after that I might be done Done and it's only 4 30 but I feel like I've been doing this for like seven days I'm exhausted it is currently 6 11 and after four hours this project is finally done and I cannot believe I was living in such messy conditions before because now I actually feel like I have extra space which I'll probably immediately fill up with more junk but you guys remember what it looked like before it was so overcrowded full of so much stuff I couldn't see or find anything well oh my gosh I'm basically Marie Kondo because check out what it looks like now. joy by these results. I think I'm becoming that person in my old age who gets very, very excited about having an organized house. I feel like I'm about to pop bottles, but this right here is probably what I'm most excited about. Up at the very top, you can see those are the things um, the ladies on home edit would call back stock, meaning stuff I don't really need. Stuff that I have a ton of, whether it's coffee creamer or my favorite nuts from Karma, or look at how much taco seasoning I have. So I leave all the back stock up there and then on the shelves that I can get to, but that previously had so much stuff packed in that I could not even see. I can now just pull this whole thing out. It's got all of the stuff that's inside the shelf and I have some cooking stuff stored here, some baking item. And then on this shelf is the stuff that we really use more frequently, like our artisanal salt, which I have lined up just in some mason jars, you guys, that I already had lying around. They're really great because they're really airtight, so they maintain the quality of this stuff really, really well. And then in each of these, you'll recall that this was basically low-key our medicine cabinet, so I separated all of our various medicines and vitamins and things. This is Chris's, and this is mine, and then I put a lot of the more, like, not daily use stuff in the medicine cabinet in the bathroom. And then right here, can we talk about this Lazy Susan that has got all of the cooking oil, anything that we really want to use and grab all the time. This is something that's still going to have to grow on me a little bit, but because we only have two drawers in our entire kitchen, I had to make a sacrifice with a drawer that was packed full of utensils, which was so gross. And this is now a Lazy Susan that is inside of the cupboard. I was able to take out one of the shelves, move it around, and put it like this. And then down here, you guys, I have a spice drawer now where I can see all of them. The only thing I have to do is add labels. Thankfully, I know what all of these are. Are. I've got my everything bagel seasoning right here. I've got my Greek seasoning, my Italian seasoning, and then all the other goodies. And then this was kind of like a wild card, but over here I added this little shelf onto the pre-existing shelf so that I could create like a little coffee corner moment. Because you guys, our house is so little. We live in such a small space, so I know some of you guys watching are like, why would you do that? Like honestly, I don't have another choice. So now thankfully at least this stuff is not just standing on top of the plate. I can grab my matcha, I can grab my coffee filters. This area is a lot more organized, which just makes me a happy camper. Last but not least, I told you guys I wanted to reorganize the silverware using this really cool organizer that I kept getting served up on TikTok. Well, when I bought it, of course there were two sizes and neither of them fit. So I just did what was good and I cleaned the organizer I already had, got rid of a ton of stuff and really just pared everything down. So we have all of our silverware. We have our garlic crusher right here. We have one extra knife, some kitchen scissors, cheese grater, 
there just kind of like the bare minimum because again this is a little place hopefully soon we'll be moving into a much larger home but in the meantime like I always say on this channel living in a small home living in a small space living in a one-room studio which I did for so long absolutely does not mean you need to sacrifice your style or your functionality you can still have so much fun get so much done and really thrive in a small space so hopefully this room inspired you guys I'm actually exhausted from these four hours of hard work I don't know how Marie Kondo does it I got a caller I don't have her number she has no idea who I am who am I kidding maybe I can call the home edit I don't know that me either but what I do know is that it's time for me to have a glass of wine you guys, let me know what you thought of this video. Let me know what you thought of my mini story time revealing who used to live in my place and how I even scored this place, which I think is absolutely hilarious. And be sure to subscribe because coming later this month, I have a huge announcement right here on my channel. I love you guys and I will see you next time. Bye.